Hello, this is Gio, and hey, we've got a wall here that we're all getting ready to paint up. But before we paint that up, we have this little dent, this hole that we have to patch up before we can paint. Now, I have shown you in past videos how to uh, kind of patch up with these these type of holes, uh, just, just with some spackle and sand it up, kind of generally does the trick. But so often, you kind of see where the patch was after you paint it all up. Primarily because it's kind of a textural thing from the wall. The original wall has a texture and the patch has a different texture. Usually the patch is smoother. Um, also, sometimes you don't sand enough and it kind of forms a bump here and you can kind of see that in light. But um, now that, that's just, you know, you have to watch out sanding and make sure it's smooth. But the texture thing, you know, I have a technique by which I've been using for a number of years to help kind of texturize the patch afterwards and you could almost make it invisible to the eye once it's done. And I'll show you how to do that today. So first things first, we just have some spackle here and a little putty knife and we're just gonna fill in the spot, make it a little higher than the wall so when we sand it down, it'll kind of even out. And so we'll do that right now. Okay, so before we spackle, I'm just going to use uh, this 150 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to sand a little bit around the spot I want to spackle, just because this wall has been painted, just to texturize it so the spackle will adhere better when it dries. And then I'll just apply some spackle compound, just with the knife. It's a little deep. I'll probably need to do a couple of coats. You can kind of see it's kind of, kind of dragging down, so I'm just going to put a little bit initially just so it holds on, let that dry, and then come back in a little bit. Okay, so we let the first layer dry a little bit. We'll add the second layer right now. Okay, so we let this dry overnight, and now we're ready for the sanding. And I just like to use these little um, these little sanding sponges you can get at your hardware store basically designed for these kind of smaller jobs. You can also just use some sandpaper. I do recommend putting it on a sandpaper block so it's flat. But uh, again, these are really handy and work really well. So we'll just go ahead. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the sanding and things look pretty good. It feels pretty smooth. The edges are pretty consistent. Things are kind of blended in here. And so most of the time we're pretty much done and all we have to do is paint the wall from here. But I want to show you something uh, using a little bit of a light. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of zooming in here and I want to, here's the patch. Hopefully you could see this, but I kind of want to show the difference in texture. So the original wall, you can kind of see the shading here. Um, it does have kind of a texture, but the patch itself does not. It's pretty smooth. And so this, after you paint, uh, even if you use a roller, you might get a little bit of a texture from the roller on this patch, but it won't be as extreme as the original wall. So you will see a difference, especially if you use more of a um, kind of a glossy finish. Um, you will see definitely a difference, and you'll always kind of see this patch. But uh, there's one thing I like to do that will help cover that up. Okay, so you're going to need a couple of things. Again, you're going to need your spackle. You're gonna, and you're going to need a, a little larger blade than we used before. Um, you're also going to need some paper towels. Now, I like to use just the kind of more the, the blue utility paper towels. Again, you can get at Home Depot or a hardware store um, rather than just a cheaper over-the-counter uh, or a grocery store paper towel. And I'll show you why. Okay, so we're just going to apply a little thin coat of this. Pretty thin. Now, you may need to water down your spackle, especially if it's a little bit thicker. But we're just kind of putting a little thin streak in and trying to make it as flat as we can. Because we're not going to sand this at the end, just like that. Now, while it's still wet, we're going to take our paper towel, rip it up, or take a sheet off. And without trying to fold this, we're just going to apply it to our little skim right there and just kind of rub it in, just like that. Now, I like these kind of blue utility paper towels because of the texture. 
Uh, if you notice, it kind of has a texture very similar to the wall. And so you're just going to kind of rub it in as much as possible. Don't, don't wiggle this around, just keep it steady and then just gently peel it off. Okay, so zooming back into this patch and looking at the texture, you can start to see that the patch is starting to match a little bit better with the wall. It's not perfect, we could have probably made the skim coat a little thicker and therefore the texture would come out a little bit more. But it is an improvement, so when we go ahead and paint this wall, this little patch job won't be as visible as it would have if we wouldn't have texturized it. So that is my trick of the day. Uh, it was a little long-winded, but I hope, hope this will help you out, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.